Hello, this is David Cavanaugh. I've got an update on the BSA Spitfire Mark IV. Yeah, for quite a while I had a heck of a time trying to get the alternator off the bike. And it turns out what was going on was the three studs that held the alternator in place, you know, they were fitted in here. They had this sort of, uh, it looked like a washer. It looked to me almost like a shoulder that was on the stud. But it turns out these things just thread off, and it's hard to get a grip on those, so I ended up double nutting the stud and backing out each of the studs and then getting vice grips on these and then getting these to thread off. And then the alternator came off just fine. So it, it, looks, it looks to me like there's a couple nubs on, on these and then also similar nubs on here. Um, I, I'm betting that this was some sort of a, a lock nut and instead of being put on this way was put on the opposite way and then when I unthreaded that it just made him apart. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what happened because I wasn't there when it was put together back in the 70s. But now it's off. I'm putting it back together with proper uh, lock washers I believe or what's called for there. So moving on. Oh, I ended up getting the valves out of my freshly cleaned head, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll be. I've got a tool for lapping the valve seats. Um, not too sure what else to look at in here, um, but I need to make sure all the passages are, are cleaned out um, of any of the blasting media, so the oil patches passages are, are freed up, um, and then. I can start putting things back together in the, on the head with uh, all the valve gear. But there's a lot of other work to be done in the meantime. So yeah, I'm waiting for, waiting for the tool to uh, um, finish taking off this. Um, turns out the friction plates on here um, were replaced with ones that are aluminum. And they're a heck of a lot lighter weight. but given that these little nubs are the only thing that draw, you know, is between driving and not driving, I'm not going to I'm not going to count on aluminum for that. So, I have the original friction plates and you know, if, if these are flat and serviceable, I may just use those. I'm not sure if they got burned up or not, but, you know, I guess the other option is just buy some new ones. So I'll, I'll price those out as well. So what else have I been working on? Yeah, basically once the primary side comes off, um, I'll be getting the engine out of the frame and then taking that a little further. I've been trying to get other parts of the frame apart. Um, the, 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 the rear bumper is almost off, but this is one connector that is, the wire is just frozen in there. Um, I'm not sure how I can dissolve that, but basically that's the bullet connector that ought to come out. And then I can remove this, and then I, need, I can remove the oil, um, the oil tank. It just has the two hoses connected down at the bottom. That's all that's holding it in right now. Got the rear wheel off. Um, I'll show you the, the wheel. So that's got the, the Italian rims, the Baranis. In any case, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get those polished up a bit more. Uh, I think they'll look really good. There's not too much corrosion on there. Uh, I guess the, I'm not too, too sure what kind of treatment to use on the spokes at this point. Um, and I'm going to look for some places that'll make, make sure the wheels are all trued up. Um, I don't want to really mess with the spokes if I can help it. And I'd really like to clean up the, the hub on this. Um, I would like for that to look freshly painted. <laughs> so it might mean me doing some really fine detailed work with small tools to uh, clean that up and then get some paint on it. I don't want to, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I'm open to suggestions here. Um, I want to find some place that'll handle these aluminum wheels and, and get some new rubber mounted on them as well. Uh, once I finish taking care of the inside of these. So that's that. 
So I'm making progress, and uh, yeah, so once the engine's out, I'm going to finish stripping off the, the frame, get everything laid out and labeled, and, and getting ready to send, send out to have it uh, sandblasted and coated. And once that's out, um, I can spend more time on the engine, get the case fully disassembled, um, clean up the clean up the cases, and get ready for reassembly. I'm gonna have to find a place to uh, hone out the the cylinders, um, get a good cross hatch on those. Um, I, I've got some, I'm gonna order new rings, all new seals, and gaskets, of course. And I think I'm going electronic ignition on this too. I might as well go full bore and go electronic ignition, SRM, oil pump, and then pressure relief valve. Alrighty, um, that's that, and uh, thanks for watching.